Strain theory is a way to understand why some people turn to crime or deviant behaviour. It suggests that when people cannot achieve their goals through accepted or legal means, they may feel frustrated or strained. This strain can lead them to look for other ways to reach their goals, including breaking the law. The theory was developed by sociologist Robert Merton in the 1930s. Merton believed that society sets goals like financial success that most people want to achieve. Society also provides certain acceptable ways to reach those goals, like getting a good education and working hard. However, not everyone has equal access to these opportunities. When people cannot achieve these goals through the accepted ways, they may experience strain. This strain can lead to feelings of frustration, pressure, or desperation, which might push them toward illegal or harmful actions to achieve their goals. An example of strain theory can be seen in situations where young people from low-income neighbourhoods struggle to get the same education or job opportunities as others. If they see financial success as an important goal but feel that the legal ways to achieve it are blocked, they might turn to illegal activities like selling drugs or stealing to make money. Another example is when people commit fraud because they feel the pressure to maintain a certain lifestyle or social status that they cannot afford through legal work. One of the strengths of strain theory is that it highlights how social structures and inequality can contribute to crime. It helps explain why crime rates may be higher in certain communities where people feel they do not have the same opportunities as others. The theory also focuses on the role of societal expectations in shaping behaviour, showing how the pressure to achieve can impact people's actions. However, strain theory also has weaknesses. One criticism is that it does not explain why some people who face similar strains or frustrations do not turn to crime. For example, not everyone from disadvantaged backgrounds turns to illegal activities even when they face barriers. This suggests that other factors, like personal values or social support, can also play a big role in whether someone turns to crime. Additionally, the theory tends to focus mainly on economic goals, like making money, and might not account for other motivations behind crime, such as emotional or psychological factors. An alternative to strain theory is social learning theory. This theory suggests that people learn to engage in criminal behaviour from those around them, especially if they see others getting rewarded for it. While strain theory emphasises the frustration of not reaching goals as a reason for crime, social learning theory focuses on the influence of role models, peer groups and family. It shows how people may learn criminal behaviour by observing and imitating others, especially in environments where crime is more common. Both theories offer different perspectives on why people might engage in deviant behaviour. To learn more about social learning theory, watch this video next.